Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Very, you? very well as well. Here, ready for the English class. Okay, so we're going to start since it's time already. And um, yesterday we were reading, right? We were reading uh, something. We're going to start today with a reading as well. So here we go. Let me just go here. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Okay. Okay, so um, this is another reading that we're going to do today and check some other vocabulary in situations. Uh, but first of all, we are going to uh, repeat. Uh, well, before we continue also, uh, has everybody finished the platform already? Yes, I finished the chair. Okay. <laughs> ¿Habrá alguna persona que aún no haya terminado? Yo. Okay. Me, me teacher. Ah, me bien? too. Okay. ¿Y, ¿Y cómo va avanzando? ¿Cómo se va? ¿Cree que la termina mañana o sería hasta el jueves? I will finish today. Okay. If you have questions, just let me know. Of course, it will be a pleasure to help you out. Okay. So, um, we're going to um, read this one. Everybody, please repeat. Out shopping for clouds. Out shopping for clouds. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Mrs. Smith. Mistress. Mrs. Smith. Mr. No, the pronunciation of that word is mistress. Mister. 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 Mistress. 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 Oh, mistress. Yeah, let me just write it here. It's, uh, it's going to be better this way. Do you see here below what I'm typing? Okay. Yes. Mistress. We can see. Mistress. 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 Yeah. Mistress. It's not the same of mistress, right? Mistress. Okay. Not the same. Mistress. If a man. Uh, yeah, mistress. the second one is men in plural. But this one, mistress, is um, a woman. woman that is married already. Okay. Mistress. Okay. Right, right. Mistress. 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 Sorry. So, mistress, let's continue. It says, Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Smith. Okay. Has taken time off work. Has taken, Has time, taken off work. time off work. Has taken time off work. To do some cloud shopping for her family. To do some cloth shopping for her family. For her family. She is often very busy and her children do not like to go shopping. She is often, often very, busy very busy and her children, and her children don't, don't like, like to, to go, go shopping. 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 So as there are a few sales on in town, so as there, as there are a few sales on in town, she thought this was a good time to find some bargains. She thought it was a good time to find some time to find some bargain. bargain. First, she went into Marks and Spencers. First, First she, she went, went into, she went into Marks, Marks, Marks and Spencers. Spencers, where she picked up two polo shirts. Where, where she picked, she picked up, up, up polo shirts. shirts. Polo shirts. Polo shirts. A pair of trousers. A pair of trousers. Plinsoles. 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 
and a winter coat for her son. And, and a, a winter, winter coat, coat for, for her, her son. son. Then she chose a pine for. Then, then she chose a for pine for. A pine for. Two shirts and a jacket. Pablo. Two, Two shirts, shirts and, a and, a and a jacket. For her daughter. For her, for daughter. her daughter. For her daughter. As she went past the men's department. As she as went past the men's department. department. Men's okay, uh, let me check. She found a gray suit on a cell for her husband. She, she found, found a gray suit, gray suit on a cell for her husband. And remembered she needed a belt and a new tie. And she remembered she needed a belt and a new tie. After paying for the things she chose, after, After paying, paying for, for the she, she went to Primark to buy a pair of pajamas. She went, she went to, to Primark, Primark to buy a pair, a pair of pajamas. And a dressing gown for her daughter. And a, and a dressing, dressing gown for her, her daughter. daughter. While she was in the shop, while, While she, she was, was in the, the shop, shop. shop, she found a very nice Superman Odyssey she knew her son would love wearing. She found, she found a, a very nice, nice Superman, Superman, Superman Odyssey she knew, she knew her son would, would love, love wearing. wearing. The wearing. There were also lovely slippers on sale. There were the also there were so lovely, lovely slippers, slippers on sale, sale. sale with, which she bought for herself. Which, which she, she bought, bought for herself. herself. The last shop she went into was Divingham. The last the shop she, she went, she went into, was into was Divingham. 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 Where, with the help of an assistant, Work with the help of an assistant. Found a beautiful red cardigan. Found a beautiful, oh, red, a beautiful, red, a beautiful red, red cardigan. A silk purple blouse in a pair of boots. A silk purple, a silk purple blouse in a pair of boots. After all that shopping. After all that shopping. After all that shopping. Mr. Smith decided to take a rest at Costa and drink a cup of coffee. Mr. Mr. Smith decided to take a rest at Costa and drink a cup of coffee. Very well. So now we're going to check some vocabulary. Um, okay, what is time off? Do you know what is that? Time off. Is like a break? It's like a break in this case. It's like when you uh, are working and you have a break. You can say a time off, okay? And then, of course, you know what is clothes. What is What are clothes? Um, for clothes example, blouse a... or shorts or... <laughs> Very well. So, yeah, it's like a, something that you wear, right? I do Let's worry. Yeah. What is to be busy? You have Someone. how many yeah. many yeah. things yeah. to do? Yeah, when well, you have many things to do, right? And sometimes we are so very busy. Let's see what else. Okay, uh, this is interesting. Where it says there are a few cells on in town. What do you understand here? A few offers. Yeah, it's like sellings. I mean, there are many things for, for her to go and shop, right? Many things. Uh, she thought this was a good time to find some bargains. What is bargains? 
Uh, offers? Offers, things that are with discount, right? Not a full price. Then it says, uh, uh, well, see, she went into Marks and Spencer where she picked up two polishers. Do you know what are polishers, right? Yes. Okay. My pictures with net or something. Nice, good. Uh, what are, let's see, um, trousers? Pants. Light pants. Light Very pants. good. And a trouser of... is a Britain. Yeah, yeah, it's a Britain word. They use word. that word. Yeah, they use that a lot, to be honest. Plimsolls, what are plimsolls? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody knows what is that? I don't know. Mm, that is like, what can I say? Like shoes. Do you have you seen those shoes that are like Vans? Those, yes. the, those are kind of uh, plimsolls. So those kind of shoes, they call it uh, plimsolls. Do you understand that one? No. Um, have you seen the shoes that are like like all stars, the Converse? Have you seen that kind of it's shoes? Like it, it's like a boot, a boot. It's not a like boot a boot. Uh, uh, it's like how can I say? Como esos zapatos uh, de lona que son como de meter. Uh, son como zapatos, como esos los Vans. ¿Han visto los Vans, los zapatos Vans? Yes. Algo así. Ese tipo de zapatos se llaman um, plimsolls. Plimsolls. So, in shoes, actually, there are a lot of, there are not only sneakers, there are many, many names for shoes depending on the style. So, these are the, those ones, okay? Okay, what is a winter coat? Um, it's uh... A kind of jacket, but you use when it's cold yeah. weather. Yeah, that is when, uh, when for when it's raining or when it's snowing a lot. So that is like a winter coat. Okay. Then uh, it says then she chose a pineapple. Do you know what is a pineapple? No, I don't know. Pineapple. Okay. Uh, that is like like an overall but no pants uh, is with skirt so those are called the the name of for those are not overall those are like uh, this is the name for that kind of cloth okay uh, let's see what else uh four to choose a jacket for her daughter past the next one uh suit what is a suit suit so uh, it's a formal clothes. Yeah, it's like a jacket with a tie uh, or a, a necktie, tie. some like that. One, right? Very good. What is? <laughs> this is a good one. What is a husband? A husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's a a man. is married. <laughs> It's the couple of the wife, right? The couple of wife, yeah. <laughs> okay. What is a belt? Uh, um, um, you're, using your, you're using your pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, they don't fall. <laughs> yeah, it's for pants, know. right? Pull down. For pants or skirts that you wear on the... Uh, here on the on the hip, so uh, yeah, the pants are yeah. are there in the position; they don't go away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. they don't fall down. What is? Let me see. Primer, uh, pajama. Do you know what is that one, right? Yeah. What is that? It's a clothes that you use when you when go to bed. Go to bed when you go to sleep. Go to sleep. And what is a gown? Do you know what is a gown? Gown. 
I don't know. Okay. A gown is also for you when you go to bed. The difference is that pajamas are, it might be pajamas that are with a shirt or a blouse with shorts or pants. And a gown, uh, and a gown is only for women. Uh, that is like a dress, but very comfortable. Uh, most likely made of silk. And sometimes it's large, sometimes it's short, depending on uh, if it's hot or cold. So a gown is just for, for, for women. Like sometimes it's kind of sexy, you know. And sometimes it's just to mm -hmm. sleep. That is it, a gown. It's baby doll and thin. Well, baby doll are like only thin, right? it's short. But a gown, <laughs> a gown can be large. It can be large or can be short as well. Baby doll, very, very sexy. A baby doll is kind of sexy. That is very sexy <laughs> for the husband. What that would say? Yeah. <laughs> the other one. Let's see. Um, uh, pajamas. Uh, very nice Superman onesie or onesie. Do you know what is that? No. <laughs> that is like a a custom. A custom, uh, but it's, it's not tight. It's very, uh, with a lot of space, and most likely it has like a, like a hood. Uh, it's like uh, for kids, you know? It's just for kids that they just want to use that one. Um, a cap? No? Uh, but it's a, a, a custom. It's for the whole body. Ah. Oh. Okay, and it has like for, yeah, it's a whole thing. It's one piece only, but you start, when you want to wear a onesie or one onesie, you start with the feet, the other feet, and then you enter the the arms, and then you put on the hood. So it's just mm -hmm. one piece. It's for, for weather, rainy? No, it's maybe for it's sleeping rainy. or yeah. babies. For babies, it's very common. Yeah. When you have oh. a baby, you wear uh, that. like a pajama for baby for, uh, yeah something like that very good <laughs> but for babies it's not just for sleep maybe you wear like that and you go to the park and they are very very cute very nice okay the other one are slippers what are slippers slippers are I don't remember, but I hear about that. A slipper is the dress, um, uh, the compartment. I'm sorry? Yes? Yeah, the slippers are like shoes, very comfortable, and sometimes are made of fur. Do you know what is fur? Uh, uh -huh. it's, it's okay. It's like a... This is very is the the fa is the cam is the fur. Uh, the cam. Slippers are that kind of shoes that you wear when you are at home, and sometimes they have a shape of a unicorn, a teddy bear, or um. Oh, um, it's uh, when you you use when uh, when you use when you work uh, work cap uh -huh. or get up. And you yeah. use this kind of shoes. Yeah, the slippers. When you want, you know, it's very nice. It's very, very yeah. soft. Right? Yeah, it's soft. It's soft. Very soft. So those are slippers. Very good. Uh, let's see. The last one went to the help of an assistant. Uh, what is an assistant? Assistant to the master. I don't. Help. I'm sorry. A person to help to the customer to buy something. That is true. It's a person that help in this situation. This is a shop, uh, so it's a person that help customers. What would you like to have? Do you have in this color? Yes. Let me check on that one. The size. So that is an assistant. Mm. What is a cardigan? Very good. So, yes, it's like a sweater made of special material and it's very soft mm. and it's nice. Sweater. 
What is a blouse? Awesome. I think it's like a shirt, but only for women. A shirt for women. Very good. Uh, boots, we know what is that. And it says stick a rest, a cost, and drink a cup of coffee. Okay. Uh, do you have any other question here? Okay, this is very good because uh, as you can see, when you look for specific kind of readings, you are going to find a lot of vocabulary. So if you read, for example, about clocks, you are going to find lots of vocabulary, lots of words that you say to yourself, what is this thing, you know? Uh, if you, for example, read about food, as you remember about cooking, you are going to find, again, a lot of vocabulary. Uh, if you are reading about animals or uh, nature, plants, lots of vocabulary as well. Words that are there, I mean, but we don't know them very well. Okay, let's do the... Um, the exercise that is here regarding the reading. Number one, well, this is true or false. Uh, it was a weekend. Do you remember that? It was a weekend? I don't remember. Is mm -hmm. uh, it's mistaken? It's false. It's false. It's false. It's false. Very good. The next one. Yeah, it was present perfect. Uh, Mrs. Smith, children love shopping. That is false. Children. That is false as well. Yeah, children and song men, they don't like to go shopping. Number three, she forgot to buy something for her husband. She forgot to buy something. It's false. It's true. It's true or it's false? The majority say that it's false. Her um, husband, I remember, he needed a belt. Oh. Well, actually, it's false. Because he it's says false. She found a gray, uh, let me see. Because she remembers he needed a belt. A, tie. a belt, yeah, good, and a tie. Nice. And a... Uh, Very good. Uh, the slippers were on sale. The slippers were on sale. There were also lovely slippers on sale. Yes, true. Okay. They were also lovely slippers on sale. Nice on sale. But she got for herself. And number five, her son likes Superman. Superman. She found a nice one. She knew her. Yes, yeah, true. He's true. Yeah. He says he would love wearing. Love, love wearing. Yeah. Number six, nobody helped her at Dibbenham's. I can see for that. Uh, I think it's false too. Yeah, it's false because here is where she found the assistant, right? And the yeah. assistant helped her. And number seven, she bought boots for herself. Mm -hmm. It's true. That is true. Yeah. Okay. A beautiful red a cardigan and a silver and a pair of boots. Okay. A pair of boots. Yeah. Very good. Nice. Nice. Okay. Any question about this uh, exercise? No. Okay, my friends. For tomorrow, uh, there is a homework. I need you to write a paragraph. Um, since we just finished the present perfect and the comparison with the simple past, uh, we're going to try to use those tenses the most. Simple past and present perfect. You can do it about whatever you want, anything. Since it's about simple past and present perfect, probably life experiences might be good. Vacations, uh, when you accomplished something, when you did something or uh, you started doing something. So, and tomorrow, the first activity on the class is going to be that exactly. Everybody's going to read the paragraph, and we're going to do some other activities on that one, okay? Okay. Any okay. questions about the homework? 
The homework is right paragraph. Uh, the topic is, is free. It's free topic. Yeah, whatever you want. But you, but I need to use the uh, simple past, present perfect. That, what else? that is. Like that. Yeah, only that. And of when? course. Going to? No. <laughs> Not yet, because we have more days to come. So we're going to do other activities. Present but, perfect or simple past? Both. Both. Yeah. But uh, of course, if you need to say something in present, simple present or present continuous, I mean, you can do it. It's not that it's not possible, right? But the most of the tense uh, on the paragraph is going to be simple past and present perfect. Okay. Okay. Perfect. A any question? Any other For question? For tomorrow. About? Tomorrow is the day. Okay. So let's continue. Okay. We're going to start today uh, making a little review about the most important tenses that you know already. Okay, I know that you know, but it's important to check into these uh, activities and check what is going on, right? So, pre uh, present simple and present continuous, how are they different? For the simple present tense, we're going to use the subject, I, you, he, Carla, Mauricio, whatever you want. And the verb. The verb is going to be an infinitive. I mean, go, walk, jump. You don't do anything to the verb except when. Do you remember when do we change the verb? In the third person, singular? In the third person and singular. Singular. Very good. Third person, singular, affirmative only. We are going to... Uh, add S or ES sometimes to the verb. Depend of the verb. Yeah. And what about the Depend negative on. and the uh, questions? What is going to happen? You, we, we you need to use do or does, do the auxiliary verb. Very good. You need to use do or does. And when you use does, negative we don't sentence, change the verb. Didn't. Very well. Okay. Didn't, didn't. On the other hand, with the present continuous, we're going to use the subject, he, she, Carla, Mauricio. The verb to be, that is always there. This is like an auxiliary for the present continuous. And actually, whenever we move on with the grammar, you are going to see that all the, the tenses that are continuous, because we are going to check the present perfect continuous, the past continuous, there are some other continuous. So all, the tenses that use ing, they are going to have the verb to be there. Always, all the time. By now, it's only this one, the one that we're going to check. So it's going to be the subject, the verb to be, and the verb in gerund. That is going to be ing. So that is the first difference. Then the other one is that for the simple present tense, you are going to express general truths. For example, it really rains in the desert. Not that much. And on the other hand, uh, on the present continuous, we describe actions happening now, at the very moment. So for example, now. she is reading a newspaper upstairs. Do you remember what is upstairs? Uh, I don't know in English. <laughs> in Spanish, I, I, I know. <laughs> but you can try, I, I mean. Playing. For example, you can say, uh, it's when you are on the second floor and you need to go upstairs oh, yeah. to the third floor. Okay. Yes. Then, the next one says that we're going to use the simple present for habits. So, for example, the birds return to the island every morning. And the other one, it says express annoying habits. This is very interesting because uh, in the past, do you remember that we say that we use the adverse of frequency with the present uh, simple? But here, we have an example that you can use always, only when you're talking about annoying. Do you know what is annoying? Annoying. Annoying. 
it's something that bothers you. It is where I am. Yeah. It's like discusses discuss things. Okay. Yeah, it's People something that yeah. It's something that you dislike. Something that bothers you. So for you to express that one, you can use the present continuous with always. So for example, you're always forgetting to pay the bills. Not good. Uh, she's always coming late. Not good. So it's possible to use always with the present continuous and you express that you don't like this action. The other one is to express timetable events. So things that are scheduled to happen. Uh, the plane to London takes off at 6.30 a.m. And also uh, you can on the present continue describe future arrangements. This is kind of informal, but you can use it. I mean, you can say she's getting married on the 3rd of November. We're going to the beach this weekend. So that is future. Also, uh, the simple present tense indicate permanent states. Like, for example, I like the new James Bond film. So that is something that I like and that's it, right? We don't do anything. On the present continuous, also we can express temporary states. Something that is not permanent. For example, she's working at the museum until the end of this month. So that is not perfect. It's going to finish at the end of this month. Do you have any questions? What are the states? No. No. No, teacher. Thank you. Very well. Uh, I have a little bit of more things that are kind of the same, but with some differences. Uh, some examples for Regular actions and situations. I wash my hair every day. He usually gets up very early. So the present continues when you are talking about actions in progress now. I can't talk. I'm brushing my teeth. I'm reading a new book. I love it. Other examples are for facts, permanent situations, or states. I have one brother. He lives in Paris. Water boils at a hundred degrees. On the other hand, we have temporary actions or situations. I'm going to work by bus this week. I'm living with my cousins until I find an apartment. So that is temporary, as we temporary. discussed before. Uh, this is new. Uh, we're going to use the simple present tense with stative verbs. For example, give me the money. I need it now. What happened? You look sad. So a stative verb is a verb that it doesn't have an action. So for example, when you say, I feel bad, you don't do anything, right? Actions are not done there. Remember that verbs are actions. Like when you say, I jump. It's because you're doing that action. But with the stative verbs, you don't do anything. It's like, I'm happy. But you don't do anything at all. Do you understand this one? Yes. Good? Yes. Nice. No questions about this one. So the other one is changing or developing situation. The climate is changing very quickly. So that is a change or developing situation. Your English is improving. Ah, that is true. Your English is improving. Also for future timetable events, schedule events, as we discussed. The train leaves at 4. The exams start this uh, or next Monday. Also remember that we can use the um, present continuous with future. I'm meeting John this evening. We are leaving tomorrow at 7 a.m. There are some signal words. So when you see always, never, often, sometimes, every day, once a month, then you know that you need to use the simple present tense. 
I also remember that uh, always is possible to be used with uh, present continuous. And then we have, uh, on the other hand, some words for the present continuous. Now, at the moment, these days, this week, month. So when you see anything similar to those, you know that this is going to be the present continuous. And there are some other sense verbs or stated verbs. For example, here. I mean, when you say, uh, when you say, I hear you, you're not doing anything. You're, there is no action there. See as well. Smell. Look. Seem. Sound. Do you have any question with these verbs? No. Okay. For opinion as well, you don't do anything. I believe this is true. I consider myself a responsible person. I like the way you are. I love, I hate, I prefer, I think. So you don't do anything and those are stadium verbs. Also possessions like have, own, belong, etc. Do you know what is own? It is yours. <laughs> that is mine, Ryan. Is my, my possession. My or yours. Good. And belong is very similar as well. Uh, this belongs to me. You can say that. Uh, we also have agree, be, depend, need, mean, remember, realize, recognize, seem, want, and some other. Do you know what is to realize? Realize. <sighs> Anybody knows this? It's it's like uh, discover something. Very or, good. I don't know how to explain. Yeah, it's difficult. I know. <laughs> some words or some situations, some concepts are sometimes difficult to explain in any language. But that's why we're here. I mean, imagine that you are somewhere in the U.S. or in U.K. or you need to explain. That is something that we're practicing right now. So it's good that you realized about that one. Okay, so let's practice this thing. Okay, number, okay. yeah, we're going to decide either simple present or present continuous. So the first one is going to be Okay, it's leaving. Because you say, look, so right now, hey, come and look. He's leaving the house at this moment. Very good, nice. The next one says, uh huh. Right. Present progressive. I am writing. I'm, oh, I'm I write. I'm writing a test. Good. Quiet, please. I'm writing a test. So, right now. Yeah. Number three. She usually walks. She usually, she usually walks. 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 To walks. 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 But look, she's going to she's going buy, 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 buy bike. She's well, going by bike. She's going by bike. But bike. Look, today she's going by bike. Nice. Number five. Every Sunday we we go to see my, my grandparents. A simple person. Awesome. Very yes, good. we we go go see my grandparents. Yeah, every Sunday we go to see my grandparents. That is it. Every Sunday we go. Number six. He often, he often goes. Oh. <laughs> the third person. <laughs> yeah, the problem is that we need to remember that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we often yes. go 
to the cinema. Goes like. to the cinema. Number seven. We are playing Monopoly. It's playing Mono Monopoly. Monopoly. Okay. Monopoly. Monopoly. At the moment, it's con present continuous. That is in the moment. Good. So it's moment. we're playing Monopoly at the moment. We're Good. playing. Number eight. The child seldom cries. 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 Yeah, third person again. The child seldom, seldom cries. Seldom cries. Number nine. It's frequency other. I don't know anything. Oh, I am not I doing am, anything at the I moment. Am, I am not doing anything at the moment. Very Press good. continue. <laughs> I am not doing anything at the, at moment. the moment. Good. Number 10. Does he watch, Does he the, watch new the news regularly? Very good. Regularly. Does, Does he, he watch, watch the news, the news regularly? regularly? Good. Also remember the news, that is not plural or singular. That is a noun with an S. So it doesn't have a plural or singular. Uh, the other one, uh, number one. This is Mark. This is Mark. Yeah, we need it to remember. It's Mark. Yeah. Yeah, we need to remember that also exists the verb to be in the simple present. That is like this. Yeah. The other one says, uh -huh, number two. She's wearing He's wearing a t-shirt and shorts today. That is it. He's wearing a t-shirt and shorts today. Perfect. Number he, three. He is eating, eating he's an he's apple eating at the moment. Apple. Very good. Eating. He's eating an apple at the moment. Nice. Number four. Mark, Mark likes, likes fruits, fruits and, and vegetables. Mark likes fruit and fruits and vegetables. Very good. Mark likes fruits and vegetables. vegetables. Number five. He it's he eats some every day. Some every day. Very good. He eats some every day. And number six. For his health. Mark knows that apple are good for his good health. for his health. Very good. That is it. Nice. Any question on this one? No teacher. Okay. No. This part is kind of easy, right? A little bit more. You know? <laughs> yeah, but we need to remember. Sometimes we forget. Yeah. The third person singular. <laughs> it's common. Yeah. That is the most common. Uh, yeah, because it's something that we always forget. But if yeah. we practice, it's going to be there. So um, here, how is going to be? This is this is Caroline. This is Caroline. Caroline. It's correct? Yeah, yeah Caroline. Caroline. Uh, and the other one, number two. Caroline has, Caroline long, has blonde hair. Blonde, long blonde well. hair. Good. Caroline has long blonde hair. Long hair. Number three. She usually, she usually wears, wears glasses, glasses, but but now she but wearing now she's wearing, she's wearing contact lens lenses. She's wearing contact lenses. Very good. So she usually. This is interesting because it's combined, right? She yeah. usually wears glasses, but now she is she wearing is contact wearing lenses. Lenses. Okay. lenses is uh, lenses. 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 Yeah, this is, but this is just, I mean, when you have this one, these are glasses because it has everything. Lenses are just the, it's just like the, the thing that oh, it goes. Oh, in, in, into the, into, into or the inside the eyes? Yeah, that are the contact lenses. Oh. For cameras also, you can use that word. For cameras, you can say a lens, lenses. Uh, okay, teacher. Good. Number, it's a pleasure. Uh, who's going to be number four? Caroline oh, likes like sports. 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 Good, good, good. Number like. five? She, she plays, plays every, Monday every Monday and Thursday. Monday. She plays. Good. She plays. Okay, let's move on to uh, the other part. 
how it's going to be number one. Joe and Dennis are, best are, best are best very best, best friends. friends. John and Dennis are best friends. Number two. They often, often meet in meet, the afternoon. Meet, meet, meet that in is the it, afternoon. Right? They often meet in the afternoon. Good. And what about number three? What? What? What they are? What, what do they? they no, what? What is? What, what are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing at the moment? Yeah, like that. What are they doing at the moment? So that is continuous. Yes. Uh, number four. Who's going to be number four? They play, play football. football. They play football. They play football or they are playing. They, they, oh, they play. play. No place, no play. They play, yeah. Yeah, it's plural. Number five. They love football. They, they love, love football. Yeah. Number six. Yo. Yo practice. Yo practice, practice with practice. his father practice. every weekend. With but her Dennis, father every weekend. Practice. But Dennis. Don't play. Dennis, but Dennis. But Dennis doesn't play football at the Doesn't play. Often. Yeah. Good. That is it. Joe practices with his father every weekend. But Dennis. Doesn't, doesn't, play. doesn't play football very often. Nice. Questions about this? No. This is very easy, right? Because it's just remembering. We're going to do just a few more exercises about those. Hold on a second. Okay. And here we go. Okay, this is um, like a little test. So, what will be the ING form so for this verb? Present, present progress. Walk. walk. For time. Walk. Mm. So, it's going to be walk and then ING, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, what about the next one? Making. 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 Like this? No. no without no. E. Yeah, that is very important that you remember uh, rules. This is easy. Yeah. How is going to be this? Washing. 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 Uh huh. And the next? Lying. 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 How do you spell that? L L Y. L Y I N G. L Y I N G. Lying. Yes. Good. What about this one? A stop. Stop. Stopping. Double P. That oh. is it. Okay. So remember that um, those uh, have rule as well. Sometimes you need to duplicate, sometimes you need to remove letters. Sometimes it's strange, like ski, that is skiing with two eyes, but that's the way it is. Okay, describe it if I oh, know that's German, sorry. Um, how is going to be that in simple person? Okay, that is easy. She and write simple person. Simple person, yeah. She writes. 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 Very good. And number two? He kisses. He kisses. He kisses. Good. Number three? She. Mm. She must. Must. She must. Pronunciation must. is difficult here, yeah, I know. She <laughs> must. Must. Right. So we say the yes. But it's so only yes or, or only yes? Uh, it's going to be only yes. S. Uh -huh. Only S, right. So it's going to be, uh, the pronunciation is going to be S, T, and S. So it's going to be must. she must. Uh -huh, must. S. What about number four? She loves. 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 Very only good. Yes. Only yes. And number five is easy. Go. Yeah, he goes. Yes. You are yes goes nice 
when to use which tenses. Uh -huh. For mm. present actions happening one after another, we use... For present actions happening present one continue. after another. Present continuous. Present, continue. present, continue. present progressive. Progressive. Everybody agrees? Present action. Mm. Simple present or present progressive. Two people, they say that is present progressive. What about the other people? So it's going to be progressive. I don't know. Yes, okay. because the action is happening. That is it. Yeah, actually, that is true. Number two, for actions happening while speaking. Why do Present progressive. Present progressive. Present progressive. Okay. Everybody agrees? Yes. 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 Very good. Yeah, no, that, is, that is actually correct. Number three says for arrangements for the okay. near future we use. For near future. Oh, present progressive. Present progressive. Present progressive. Present progressive. For actions set by a schedule or timetable, we use? Simple present. Simple. Simple present. And uh, which tense do you have to use with the following sign up words? Sometimes, never, every day. Simple present. Everybody. In frequency agree? adverb. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> say yes. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> when simple present, you use frequency adverb, right? That no. is it, yeah. So that is the one. <laughs> okay, and the other one says, which tense do you have to use with the following sign of words? Listen, at the moment, oh, right? Oh, present now. progressive. <laughs> at the moment, right now. Nice. Complete the sentences, it says with a present, simple present, or present progressive. So, the lesson starts, starts. at 9 o'clock. Start, like this. It starts with starts. S. Start, S, S. Good, that's correct. Starts at 9 o'clock. Number two. Where often words of like Words like this one, right? Words. Yes. Good. Number three. I meet tonight. No. I my friend in the shop club tonight. Oh, it's a future, mm -hmm. no? Near future? That is future, yeah. I I, I am meeting my friends. My friends in the job job. What is, what is the meaning of job mm -hmm. club? Ah, with the younger? Yeah, like younger? something like that, yeah. What about number four? My friend has to move. Oh, my, friend is, my friend is moving. Is moving. Um, Everybody agrees? I don't know. <laughs> because tomorrow in the future, right? It's very near future. Yes. Yeah, so it's going to be my it's friend. moving. Is moving now. <laughs> Number five. Is. Is. This is a fact. Is. So My it's going to be. Is in September. Oh. My birthday is in April. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we need to go and celebrate that one. Okay, negative. Who's going to be that? She doesn't. She does. She's uh, not riding. She's not riding. Okay. The bike she's right now. It's right now. Riding like this. Oh, it's the wall. I remember it's the wall. D. That is it. Riding. Okay. Like this. Yes. Everybody. I'm not sure, but. <laughs> Everybody because in the, in the in the present perfect is double D, writing. Rhythm. Writing. Yeah. Rhythm. 
miren, y se volvía y en this case is the same a <laughs> todo. <laughs> okay, let's, let's check on that later. Uh, we, uh -huh. we done we, at home tonight. At home we tonight. Done. We don't, everybody. We don't stay at home tonight. Yeah. We are only staying. We are not staying at home tonight. Tonight is near, in near future. Yeah, I, I guess that is going to be in near future, and that is correct. It's going we to be. We are staying. We are not staying. Yeah. We are staying. That is the correct one. Aren't. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, let me check what is this thing. I guess this one. Okay, the yes. other one. Ah, uh, this is easy. I don't like I bananas. Don't like I don't but like it. You don't but like it's full because I like bananas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like bananas a lot. Okay. Mm. What about number four? They don't know. They don't know yes. the answer. They don't know. don't know the answer. And number five. I am not in the garden. Sitting. Oh, in the I am sitting. I am. I'm not. not I'm not sitting on the, in the garden at the moment. Very good. And it's going to be like this. No. Double T. Good. And uh, well, we're almost there. Uh, questions. We are just going to say that one. We're not going to write it. Question. When, when does the play arrive? Everybody agrees? When do I ride the plane? When, when does? Because it's, the plane is a, a, a thing, right? When does. So it's going oh, to when be, does? When does the plane arrive? Good. Number two. In his hospital today. I don't know. Today is a simple press. Are, are you visiting? Are you visiting Jen in a hospital today? That is it. Uh, are you visiting, visiting Jane in the hospital today? Number three. What time? What time do, do you, you get up, get up in, the in the morning? Do you get up? Very good. Number four. Why, Why is she does crying she now? cry? What? Uh huh. What is she crying now? Why is she crying now? Number five. Uh, at the moment, oh, it's... are they swimming? Are they swimming? The are they swimming in the pool at the moment? Good. Are they swimming and swim with W M? Yeah. And then we have the final one that is uh, well, it's just to complete. For present or present progress. Oh. Number one. I live I in live, London. I live in London. Number two. This weekend. This I weekend am I am visiting my friend in Bring Brighton. 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 Yeah. Brighton. So yes, this weekend I am visiting my friend, friend in Brighton. Brighton. This weekend is for present continuous, right? Yeah. Present progressive or present continuous at the same, right? It's the same, yeah. Okay, the next one has gonna be the train to the Brighton train to Brighton leaves London, London at six forty five in the morning. Good. Leaves and number four. In the early afternoon. The early afternoon. We in the early afternoon. We, are, we want to we want go on a sightseeing tour. We, we want no we, we want to, to go on a sightseeing tour. What is the meaning of sightseeing? Sightseeing is when you go and see some things. For example, when you go to I don't know. 
uh, uh, places where you can see things or other places. So sightseeing is like that. Just to see and watch things like monuments or uh, things like that. It's good to... and simple mm -hmm. because I want to go. Exactly, we... good. Want to go. Nice. Number five. In the evening, we in the evening we we are going to a concert. We are going to a concert. Good, good. We are going. Yeah, let's go. Number uh, six. The concert, the concert starts, starts at eight o'clock. Starts. Starts. Yeah, with S. Number seven. I'm I coming back to London on Sunday. I'm coming. Yeah. Very good. And number eight. My I train, train, arrive. train arrives in London, arrives in London, arrives in London seven at 7 15 in the, evening. in the evening. Very good. My train arrives in London at no, 7 at 15 seven in, the, the, in the evening. In the evening. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have any question? No. Okay, this is kind of easy, I guess, but it's important for us to remember. Uh, so, my friends, we're going to stop by now. Remember that we have a homework for tomorrow. And uh, if you have questions about something during the day, you can also type a message to me. And, of course, it would be a pleasure to help you out. And um, by now, good evening. Have a good night and rest very well. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Uh, nice I have a question. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, what? What? Uh, how many lines for the paragraph? We don't have a specific number of lines. Just remember that the more that you write, the more that you practice. Of course, it's oh. not going to be very long, but uh, medium size. Okay. Very well. Bye-bye now.